Let's get into it. Facial recognition to fight crime. That was a big story. Well, not probably not this week, but for the past couple of weeks, you know. And for me personally, crime is something that I think we could all agree getting out of hand in China. You know, that not just the numbers, but the type of crime, you know, the, the, the type of weapons people are using, you know, from right. and, the, the, you know, it just, and not just, the, the not just targeting, you know, fellow fellow um, gang members or whoever, you know, it has a lot of innocent bystanders. So for me, uh, without getting too political, crime is something that needs Yeah, I tell you now, serious, honestly, I as be... I honestly be driving around. Um, honestly, I'll be driving around kind of very concerned sometimes and like winding up. I never used to be like, you know, winding up windows by lights and locking doors and all them kind of thing or when you go in a car park and all kind of drama. But I yeah. I legit live in that almost fearful life um, in Trinidad. Even though I know, well, it is what it is, but it can't be that bad way. It can't be I mean, half for me, too. You don't have to be, you just, just look at it as you're being vigilant, you know? Yeah. You lock your doors, know your surroundings. Even your own home, you know, you have to make sure things things secure, your gate, yeah. you know? If you have your cameras home, if you have an additional security system. You know, it's all about, exactly. yeah. and I guess in this case, yeah, deterrence, right? So yeah, most, deterrence, yeah, true. Most crimes, well, at least... Oh, it used to be used to be crimes opportunity, you know. Yeah. So you look for the for the target that might offer least resistance, you know. You look for a target that you know will be kind of easy, 